After surprising many and finishing nine innings shy of the World Series last year, the 2018 season is filled with promise and expectations for the Yankees. With spring training underway, Yankees On Demand sat down with Yankees managing general partner and co-chairperson Hal Steinbrenner to hear his thoughts ahead of the 2018 season. It's not going to face this team. I, I, I tell everybody last year, every time I would go to the clubhouse, whether we had lost 10 games in a row, whether we won 10 games in a row, it was always the same vibe. I mean, they're always loose. They're always supporting each other. You know, they're always happy and always in a light mood. And I just think that's the character of this team. And it's amazing considering their age that they're like that, even, even into the postseason when things didn't look good once or twice. So I don't think it's going to face I really don't. Although the 2018 roster will look largely the same as 2017, there is one very big change, a new skipper. There was virtually no difference of opinion who the first pick was. It was Aaron. I mean, he just excelled at the analytics part. He excelled at the, the practical pro scouting part, the problem solving part. He was just the most impressive. A change in the dugout won't be the only difference this year. The Yanks made a huge splash this offseason by acquiring reigning NL MVP Giancarlo Stanton from Miami. Cash and I were going back and forth on this for a good week or two, so I was brought in pretty early. My question is always the same. What are we going to have to give up? How is that going to happen? And there were deals that we decided we weren't going to do you know, along the way simply because we felt it was too much and we didn't want to give up this player or that player. But fortunately, we were able to you know, figure out a package with Miami that, that worked for, for both sides and make it happen. Despite adding Stanton to an already World Series contending roster, the organization has been adamant about staying under the luxury tax threshold. It's always been a goal, but again, never at the expense of fielding what we consider to be a championship caliber team. And, you know, we had opportunities in the past to get under, and I just felt we weren't good enough, so we went out and got somebody like Tanaka, which kind of put us over. We've got a good crop of young players now, which certainly helps, and that was always the goal, and we were just able to make it happen this year, while still fielding a, a pretty good team. As this young core continues to open eyes, there's more on the way, and the front office shares the same anticipation as the fans. I, I'm very excited. I know the fans are too. I mean, I, I think one thing that's different as far as this excitement that I, I really just can't remember the last time it's happened is the fans really know these kids in the minor leagues. They know the Sheffields and the Chance Adams and, and the Glibers, and you know, they've never played in the Bronx, but they know them. They've been following them for, for years in some cases, and they're just really excited that we're, we've got all this talent at every level in our minor league system, and it, it's, you know, it's a sign that good things are going to continue to come. There will be two new starters on opening day this year at second and third base. With several guys competing for those two spots, the front office is confident with their options. Yeah, look, I think that's going to be exciting. You've got two spots open and, and three or four guys are going to be competing. I mean, I'm excited to see Gleiber. We obviously, you know, traded one of our key players two years ago to get him. Andahar, I've been, we've been waiting for. We've been following him for years. Espinosa's in the mix, you know, so I mean, we've, we've got some guys in the mix. I think it's going to be exciting, just as it was exciting last year to see who was going to win the right field, yeah. Expectations are always high in the Bronx, but the eagerness for this season, after coming up just short in 2017, has built pressure the front office thinks the kids can withstand. The other thing that's exciting is to see these players that came up halfway through two years ago or last year and excelled to see how they respond to, you know, a little bit more pressure on them probably. You know, the expectations are higher from our fans. I mean, there's no doubt about that. It'll, it'll all be fun. Well, I expect to win a world championship. I think it's going to be very exciting for the fans. And not only are they going to see the people that, you know, are in opening day in the Bronx in April, they're going to see guys come up throughout the course of the year, I believe, and guys that they've been following for a while. So I think it's going to be exciting. You know, health is always the big issue for any club, right? How healthy can we stay throughout the course of the marathon that is the baseball season? But many good things to come. I'm, I'm very excited.